so much was said over his four-year career about Killian Tilly's volleyball roots in his home country of France. Well, in 2018, we caught up with him to talk about that, and he put on one of the more unique athletic displays we've ever seen. Every day, like. On this Thursday night, the only zag on the kennel floor is Killian Tilly. The stands are empty, but the McCarthy Athletic Center is filled with echoes of basketball and rim and backboard and net. Some sounds are what you'd expect from this sort of scene. Others, well, not quite. Almost kill your camera. This isn't your typical solitary shoot around, but then again, Killian Tilly isn't your typical basketball player. Oh. <laughs> it might be easier like that. People talk about growing up with a, a basketball in the crib yeah. or a baseball in the crib. For you, it was the volleyball? It was the, yeah, it was more, more of a volleyball in my hands when I was growing up, yeah. Tilly's parents are volleyball royalty. His mom, Carolyn, captained the Dutch national team. His dad, Laurent, played for France twice in the Olympics and coaches the French national team. It was my environment, so I was like just raised up in, this, in, in the gym. Just like his two brothers, 29-year-old Kim and 27-year-old Kevin. I've seen them like playing when I was growing up. Both were collegiate athletes in the States. Kevin, a two-time All-American and two-time national champion volleyball player at UC Irvine. Kim, whose basketball journey paved the way for Killians, played forward for the University of Utah. It made me want to go play college basketball too. Tilly could have emulated either brother. As a tall athletic youngster, he overpowered his peers on the volleyball court. I feel like it could be pretty, I could have been pretty good. I could do both sports at the end. I, I wanted to play both sports like at a high level, but I, it's like, it's hard to do, so I just I had to choose. Early in his teenage years, Killian picked hoops. I feel like my dad wanted me to play basketball. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I think he likes basketball, so. And they would like support me, whatever thing I do, so that was, that's cool for me, yeah. Tilly's ability took him overseas, from France to Gonzaga. Now in his sophomore year, he has blossomed for the Bulldogs, sitting third on the team in scoring, second in rebounding, and first in block shots. The benefits of his volleyball bloodline are easy to see. Jumping ability, like jumping quick, quickly, and uh, tipping, just like around the, around the basket, my touch around the basket. It shows up in traditional aspects of the game, and occasionally it pops up in some unorthodox maneuver. You get a piece of it. Now, volleyball spiked back in by Tilly. Yeah, that's a violation. Yeah. That was like in beach volleyball where you <laughs> just great. That was pretty darn good. <laughs> Did you know that was illegal? No, it didn't work, but I feel like it was the best way to save the ball, so I don't know. I, I didn't know it was illegal, so I was just surprised. Whether in the game or after the whistle, Tilly likes tapping into his roots when he gets a chance. Just give him a, a little shout out to my volleyball family, so yeah. And on that one Thursday night in the kennel, we got a glimpse of Tilly showing off his unique skill set in a way he likely never will in a Gonzaga uniform. There we go. Just warming up, just warming up. Four, that's four. four. What do you think few would say if you tried that in the game? It killed me. And don't put me in the game anymore. There it is. Here we go. Should be like a layup. It, it is a layup, look. It's too close, man. Too much touch. Boom. Boom. Bang. Here we go. <laughs> that could be it. That's insane. <laughs> so you made that shot before? No. Every shot was first take, all right? We're saving our best for last tonight. Coming up, my favorite Zag story from the last 20 years. We chat with three former players who became coaches for their own sons on the same team. You're watching the Bulldog Throwback Special on Creme 2.